Hello, my dear brother, my dear sister, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Today, I'm going to be talking to you here from the General Conference Headquarters in Roanoke. I have been traveling out of the country for uh, almost two months, and now I'm back here in Roanoke. And it's a pleasure to be here with you, and I pray that we all may enjoy these moments we are going to be spending together here. And uh, I welcome all of you that will be partaking with us here and those that will be watching later. Uh, Sister Lucinha, welcome. It's nice to have you here with us. And uh, I just mentioned I'm in Roanoke at the General Conference headquarters today after two months traveling. And I have the blessing of being here working with the brethren at the headquarters these days. And today we are going to be talking about the topic I already mentioned. Uh, the topic for today is make time for your spouse. We are past the middle of this series, uh, the series seven keys to a happy marriage. And this today is another key for a happy marriage, making time for your spouse. Brother Francisco, thank you for joining us. Brother Jonas, Sister Susan, uh, Sister Tammy, Thank you all for joining us here this evening, and I pray that you all may enjoy God's word this evening, that the Lord may talk to our hearts, and the, the goal for this series here is to protect our family, protect our marriage, and uh, also to rebuild the marriage, the relationship of those that are having some difficulties in their relationship. So I pray that the Holy Spirit may be with each one of you, that he may use me also to give you some advice here so we can learn together and that we may really find happiness in our marriage and be happy and make our spouses happy. So as I mentioned in the beginning, the theme for today is make time for your spouse. Uh, spending time each day with one another, with, with our spouse, is one of the keys for a happy marriage. So that's why we are talking about it today here inside of this series, Seven Keys to a Happy Marriage. And since the beginning, we saw there in the Garden of Eden, the problem started when the couple went apart, they were separated for some time, and the enemy found a place uh, in the heart of Eve first, and also later found a place in the heart of uh, Adam. So the, since that story from the Garden of Eden, I believe God is, uh, was already telling us about the importance of spending time together with our spouse, uh, not uh, neglecting to spend time with, one, one, uh, with each other. And uh, always when possible, we should do it every day. I know that we live in a busy world. It's not an ideal world. And sometimes things become a little bit complicated. We are going to talk a little bit about it as well. But in the Bible, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, the Lord tells us that uh, uh, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. And so in other words, God's telling us there's time for everything. He has given us time uh, for everything. But as I said, sometimes it seems we are so busy with so many things to do that uh, we can't find time for our spouse. So in, the rea in reality today, it's not uh, about having time. It's about making time. That's why the topic here is making time for your spouse. Because in this busy world we live in, with so many things to do every day, we have to make time for our spouse. And if we don't watch, if we are not careful, we don't give time enough for the person that is uh, important for us. That's the the person we love. So, Brother Zacharias, thank you for joining us. Sister Basti Rojas, uh, Sister Kath uh, Manois, thank you for joining us here. And B, also thank you for joining us. Sabenaka, Namara, I'm really glad you are all here. And I pray the Holy Spirit may be with you there where you are and you may enjoy the presence of the Lord in your life. So we are going to be talking about this theme here, continue talking about this theme, making time for your spouse. And uh, I hope when we finish it here, we may all uh, be a greater blessing for our spouse and uh, be happier in your marriage. So 
I was telling here the branding that as we are so busy today, sometimes we don't find the time, we don't have the time for each other as we should. So that's why the topic, the theme for tonight, for this evening, at least here in Roanoke at the General Conference headquarters, it's already evening here. So uh, the theme for today here is make time for your spouse because we need make time. If we just wait for the time to appear, it seems we never have enough time to do all everything we want to do. So the order here today is make time for our spouse. In our busy world, where both husband and wife often work outside uh, of the home for many hours, it is easy to justify the failure to make time for each other. But I want us to remember that life's worth is uh, in the end isn't uh, measured by the hours we work. It's not measured by the amount of dollars we bring home. Uh, it's all important, but life in the end is measured by the amount of time we spend with those we love and the memorable imprints we leave on the life along the way. So uh, it's interesting. You probably have noticed it when uh, a person is really sick. You know, we worry a lot about money, about how much we have in the bank. But when a person is really sick and the person knows he or she is going to die, uh, I have visited many people in this situation. I never saw one person asking, you know, bring my checkbook, uh, bring, bring my bank statement. I want to see how much I have there. Uh, all these things are left behind. We, the person doesn't worry about it in the end of life. What you really want when it's the last moments of your life is to have around you those you love. And for you to have those you love close to you in, in the difficult moments of your life, it's necessary to spend time with them. And the, your spouse is the person that is supposed to be with you for the rest of your life. So your spouse should be the most important person in this world for you. It's a gift from God that uh, the Lord gave to you and should be appreciated. So don't invest too much time in things you like at the expense of people you love, at the expense of your life, your, your spouse. Life has no reverse button. Uh, you can make excuse and for not making time for your spouse and regret too late. Or you can make time for your spouse and enjoy life with this gift God gave you, this special person the Lord gave to you one day. So plan to have time, to make special time for your spouse. Uh, it's important for couples, for example, to have a regular date night, always when possible. Uh, schedule a time when you two can spend time together. It doesn't need to be something fancy. It can be something really simple. Uh, just uh, you and your spouse there. Use this time alone to talk about your hopes, your dreams, your future, but spend time together. As I said, doesn't need to be something very fancy. You don't have to always to go out for a rest to a restaurant. You can make some time special just for you to do at home. So do it. Spend time. Make time for your spouse. And to create this happy marriage, to have this happy marriage God wants you to have, it's necessary to spend time together. Focus on, on what you have in common, not in your differences. When you spend time together, if uh, allow your spouse to make mistakes without affecting your relationship. Try this, you know, uh, be more supportive, more forgiven, forgiving. And try this for one month and you are going to see the difference. Spend time and allow the other part to make mistakes. And don't criticize, don't judge, and always support. And you are going to enjoy these happy moments, this time you are going to spend together. And it's going to grow to something really special that you too will be always looking forward for those moments when you are going to be together, spending time with each other. Uh, you, you can't uh, allow problems to come between you and your spouse and uh, to the point of uh, not having the desire, you two not having the desire to spend time together. In other words, what I want to say here, you can't just give up on someone because the situation is not ideal. Great relationships uh, are not great because they don't have problems. They are great because despite of the problems, both people care enough about each other uh, to find a way to make it work. 
That's what a happy marriage is. And if someday you feel that you are angry with your spouse, then I want to tell you this is the, a sign that you need uh, to sit and, uh, and, and relax and have a special time with good quality together with your spouse. So spend time, be together. And when I talk about quality time that you need to have with your spouse is when you are there for your spouse. You know, giving total attention to, to your spouse. And that's quality time when you two are there to talk about your dreams, your hopes, uh, your fr frustrations, and to open the heart to each other. That is a, a quality time. And uh, don't make excuses. And another thing, for, don't make excuses for not having time. Make time. It's possible to make time. God said he gives you time for that. If you are alive, you can find time for those that are really important for you. And your spouse should be always this special time, person for whom you are able to find time. And when you are together, I was talking here about quality time. So uh, never make the one you love, your spouse, to feel alone. And uh, if you are traveling, sometimes you cannot be at home all the time. You need to be traveling. You need to be somewhere for your work, for some other commitments you have. And uh, give, give, give a call. Call the per your spouse. Spend time over the phone. T find the time. Make the time, even if you are far away. And uh, uh, now when I say, you know, uh, never make the, your spouse to feel alone, especially when you are there, when you are present. Because you may be present in, 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 in the body and not be present psychologically, not be present in the spirit. And how does it happen? I'll give you an example here. That's very common. It can happen in your families. And uh, your spouse may be talking to you and you are on the cell phone. You are present, but you are not there. And uh, this moment, I want to give a special device to all couples here, to you that is watching it, is listening to this message today. Uh, you know, when your spouse go to bed, don't stay on the cell phone. You know, sometimes uh, the husband goes to bed and the wife stays at the cell phone, looking to mess uh, at messages, looking at Facebook, or WhatsApp, or whatever you are looking there. Stop it and go together to bed, go to sleep together. When a couple lay down together on the bed, that's a quality time when you can talk about things. If you go together, you spend some time talking there uh, together to each other, and this is a special moment. So never allow your spouse to go to bed and you stay looking at the cell phone or at the computer or watching something. No, quit whatever you are doing and go and uh, lay down together. That's something really important. And it can be frustrating for a wife when the husband stays on the, on the computer, on the cell phone, and it can be frustrating for the husband as well. So always, uh, if your spouse go to bed, and you are at home, go together and sleep together. Uh, no matter how busy your day is, uh, if you really care about your marriage, about your spouse, you are going to find time uh, for that person that God gave you. So if you are far away, as I said, give a call. If you are at home, spend uh, quality time. Go to, to bed together, eat together, but spend time. It's really important. That's one of the seven keys to a happy marriage is to spend time together. So make time for your spouse. And another thing I want to tell you here uh, before closing this uh, message here to this evening, Make your marriage your own. Don't be looking at other marriages and uh, wishing you had something you don't have, wishing you have something else. Work to make uh, your marriage, to shape your marriage so that it's satisfying for both of you, for you and for your spouse. Sometimes people, they keep looking at uh, uh, Facebook or the social medias that we have, me, social media we have today, and they look at others' life and they say, oh, these people are so happy. Because sometimes you don't see the problems that, that some couples are facing on their own. But, uh, and you may wish to have such a life as those people there, but in, indeed, sometimes you have a better life than they have. And if not, 
you can always work to have the marriage you have dreamed of. So uh, work to shape your marriage, to be what you want it to be. And one of the ways of doing it is really making time for your spouse. You make your spouse happier and you are going to be happier. And as I mentioned before, uh, you know, to make uh, time for your spouse, sometimes you have to give up on some things you like. You may enjoy spending lots of time with something else, but give up on these things that you like. Don't let it sacrifice what your spouse deserves, what your spouse needs, because in the end, make your spouse happy will make yourself much happier. So make time for your spouse. Busy schedules can be hard on marriage, uh, but dating your uh, spouse is uh, extremely important. So don't forget to put your marriage on in, in first place. You feel if you put your marriage in, in second plan as a second plan, it will last just uh, for, for a time, just for so long. But if you make of it something that uh, deserves your attention, deserves your time, it's going to be what God wants it to be a place of happiness. Your marriage is going to be something uh, fantastic, something wonderful, what the Lord wants you to have, a happy marriage. So make time for your spouse and may God bless you, bless your marriage, bless your family, and uh, that you and your spouse may receive all the happiness your heart may, may carry. So I will be praying for you all here. And I will be praying for those that will be watching this message later also. But always remember, it's very important to make time for your spouse. And that your, always remember, your spouse is something really special that the Lord Jesus gave to you. So take care of it and may give it the importance it deserves, that he or she deserves. God bless. And I'm going to pray with you now. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come in thy presence. Thank you, Lord, for these moments we spent together here in this series. May you bless each one of us, giving us wisdom to put our marriage, our spouse, in first place in our lives. Only you occupy a more important per uh, place than this special person you gave to us one day. Bless each home that... Uh, are represented here of those that are watching, those that will be watching this message. May you bring in their home the miracle they need. Bless our children, uh, bless our spouses, and bless us, Lord, that we may have wisdom and strength to serve you with our heart, all our hearts, and that we, each one of us here may be a blessing for our spouse and find time for them, make time for them. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So thank you again, you all, for joining us here. Uh, Brother Angel, Sister Marianita de Jesus uh, joined us today here also. Niseal Van Sanchez, thank you for joining us here. Brother Ricardo Fajardo, it's nice to have you here, Brother Ricardo. Uh, Angel Solis, my blast, Brother Finaro, Adrian Finaro was here with us, is here with us today also. Oh, it's, uh, Alzira Leopoldino, that's my aunt. God bless you. Greetings to the family there in Boituva. May the Lord be with you all there. Uh, Ferdinand, John Glay, it's nice to have you here. So may God bless all of you here. I will be praying for the others that I couldn't mention here. Brother Obad, Kisp, thank you for watching us. And I'll be continuing praying for all of you here. Uh, Rudy, Ambras, Ambase, thank you for joining us. Yeah, I am. So may the Lord bless you and your family, and I hope to meet you soon here again. God bless. Bye.